Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Talk channel on YouTube. We have a very interesting problem to solve using long division. Long division is traditionally be difficult for a lot of students, and it's for a good reason. It's long, it's messy, and it's tedious. Okay, but if we slow down, we have a certain process, um, we can handle this. So one of the things you need to do for this one is you do need to leave for the absent aunt. Okay, zero to the fourth does not have a term in there. You do need to leave a spot. And we're going to copy the rest of the stuff. Minus y squared plus 9y minus 3. Okay, the whole thing is going to divide by y squared plus 3. Now, this problem is a little different than most of the problem. It's a little more difficult in that we're missing a term. Not only that, we're missing a term over here. So, this one is actually y squared plus 0y plus 3. Okay, so the reason I'm writing a 0 y here just to show you that I actually need to take three terms at a time. Okay, so three terms at a time. First term is going to come over here then. Okay, I'm poking a hole on the roof almost and put a chimney here. And the first thing I'm going to put in there is whatever I put in here, I got to match this term here by multiplying what I have over here. So y to the third would match it. Okay, and then let's multiply it on the side. Y to the third times y squared plus 3. And that gives me y to the fifth plus 3y cubed. Okay, so let's write it out. Y to the fifth. Okay, now be careful with where you line it up. It's 3y to the cube over here. Okay, the reason we have to leave the spot here is because 1, 2, and 3, we have three terms. Okay, so each time we're going to take care of three terms. Now over here, Next thing you need to know is this is subtracting. Okay, so subtracting this whole thing. So one of the best ways I told my students is you slow down, you actually verbally speak. Y to the fifth minus the y to the fifth, that's a zero. Okay. This one is zero since I didn't have anything to begin with, because it's a ghost one. And this one is a six minus three. Okay. You take six, you speak the six, and you take the minus, minus three, and you end up with the 3y to the cube. Okay. Now, once again, since we're dealing with three terms at a time, I'm going to write y squared over here, and I'm going to write a plus 9y over here. Okay. So I'm hopping three times at a time. Next one is going to be over here. Okay. I'm matching this term by multiplying uh, y squared plus 3. So, of course, I need a 3y over here. So let's do it on the side. It's 3y times y squared plus Three that equal to three y cubed plus nine y. Okay, let's write it over here. So I have a three y cubed. I don't have anything y squared, and then I have a plus nine y. Okay. Once again, I'm subtracting here. Now you notice I'm doing this very slowly. The the reason is once you make a mistake, going back and redoing is going to take a lot more time than if you just slow down the first time. Make sure. <clears throat> Each one of the step is correct. So 3y cubed minus 3y cubed, I have a 0 here. And this one has nothing to subtract. It gets loaded over here. So basically, this is a 0 here. Okay, so minus y minus 0, I have whatever I have left before. 9y minus 9y. Now remember this minus sign. This is the verb, if you want to think that way. Okay, so 9y minus 9y, this is a 0. And then I have a 3 minus 3 left over here. Okay, almost there. This is a 0 here. And then the last term I need to have is over here. I'm matching the coefficient. I need to do a subtract 1. So minus 1 times y squared plus 3 gives me minus y squared minus 3. Ah, <coughs> uh, I have a, a remainder of 0. It's the best sign we can see, right? So this whole answer after you divide it out is x cube, y cube plus 3y uh, minus 1. Okay, here's the answer. Okay, let's review it quickly. So when you're dealing with a long division, slow is quick, number one. Number two is pay attention to how many terms you need. you got to watch what you have over here. If you thought this one is actually two terms, it gets really confusing quickly. But you recognize in zero y is missing, so each time you take care of three spots at a the time, then it's not that bad. Okay, that's one thing. And number two is line up the thing on the top. I took care of three terms each time, and the next time I take three 
terms. Again, I put a Y over here. That way you don't lose track of your spacing. And also, notice how much space I used. Okay, Spreading out in math is very important. That you eliminate error, first of all. Number two, if you do make an error, it's a lot easier to find. All right, hope this tip helps, and have a confident day.